We have in our midst tonight, before I speak about our guest minister, the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, the overall president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, right reverend, sorry, his eminence, Reverend Dr. Ayokunle Samson. He's right here in our midst tonight. Uh, for the information of all our foreign delegates, he presides over all the Christians in Nigeria. And we are happy to have him. Can you come up, sir, and just say a word of greeting to your constituency? Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. He came to celebrate with us. He has such a very, very tight schedule, but he heard of this celebration and decided to come. Thank you, sir. Let's give me a mic. Hallelujah. On it. Go on. Okay. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout, Hallelujah. On behalf of all Christians in Nigeria, of which this church is an intrinsic part, it is my joy to be part of this glorious 25th anniversary of Dunamis International Ministries Christian Center. Sincerely speaking, without flattery, you have changed the landscape of Nigeria through the gospel. One twenty, I mean, one twenty-fifth anniversary to me is like one twenty-five years anniversary. Because the Lord has multiplied the ministry so much, and the impact is so tremendous. So resounding that I don't think there is anybody in this country, Nigeria, or in West Africa, that we say that he doesn't know Dunamis International Christian Center. The Glory Dome is unique. It can only be a fish and caught by the Spirit. The land, the, the, the land area it occupied and the number of people it can take can only be designed by God. I tell you, uh, the first day I came here, I was amazed. And especially when the construction was going on, it can only be God. We are very proud of this achievement. We are very, very, very proud. I, I say I have to be here today because of uh, my very tight schedule. I'm off to Taraba tomorrow, and I will be in Takum Day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be in Jalingo day after tomorrow I will be in Taku. And from there I will return. I'm going to Gambia on behalf of the church uh, to lead the peace envoy to Gambia on their national election so that things might go well. So you, you will have finished this celebration without my presence. And that will not do justice to who you are to us in Christian Association of Nigeria. Therefore, my brother and anointed servant of God, keep on doing what God has given you to do. Do not listen to anything that can be discouraging because there is no impactful leader that the devil will not say is the prince of demons. Keep on doing what God has committed to your hands. And you can see his abiding presence. And you will see more of his abiding presence. If this church were to be 100, what would the impact be? I started asking myself. God raised you for our generation. And we are glad that we are part of what God is doing through you in this generation. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 
Your beginning may be small. Because I believe this is small. Your latter hands are greatly increased. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We love you brother and sister. God bless you. Can you give the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the I am that I am a bigger, 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 bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.